Hey folks, Pastor Josh here, and we're going to do another uh, devotional, uh, Advent devotional for December 16th, 2016. It's now December 16th, 2016, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to do this uh, tonight. So go with me, if you will, to the book of Habakkuk or Habakkuk, or however you want to pronounce it, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1. And there's going to be other readings, so write these down, and uh, read them at your leisure. Uh, basically, the book isn't that long of a book. Uh, it's only three chapters. It's not that long of a book. I would recommend reading the whole book uh, for your... Uh, understanding and prayerfully consider it take notes and all of those things all those good things do that um, but it's the actual ones that it's saying here is Habakkuk 1 1 and 2 1 or 1 and 1 to 2 1 and then 3 16 to 3 19 so pretty much there's not much you're leaving out in those so read the whole book it's a good book it's a good book to read uh, but then this is uh, this is what we are going to talk about today. The, the the book says the ornament today shows a watchtower. This is the ornament for the Jesse tree. It shows a watchtower, reminding us that the prophet Habakkuk stood upon an, an allegorical watchtower, waiting for the anointed one of one waiting for the anointed one of the Lord, uh, the, that the Lord would send to end violence and wickedness. Now. 2 verse 1 says this, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the watchtower. I will keep watch to see what he will say to me and I will never and I and what what I will answer when I am reproved. So I will stand at my watch and station myself on the watchtower and I will keep watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am reproved. So, this is something that um, really what Habakkuk is talking about here is waiting on God. Waiting on God. Stand watch. Stand waiting. Stand uh able to to just wait on God to speak to us and and, and, and that's important okay, all, 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 although he's, he's waiting for the anointed one that will end the violence speaking of Jesus bringing bringing in Jesus Jesus was the anointed one how how Habakkuk was waiting for the 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 bringing about of the Lord and how uh, that would end the violence and the wickedness okay and but 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 what I want to bring out is yes that that was great talking about Jesus and how Jesus was to to this is a like a prophecy of Jesus coming but it also speaks to us today and what it speaks to me personally as the waiting part waiting on God waiting on God waiting waiting on the promises of God see this 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 promise of the Messiah was was a promise throughout Genesis all the way to Revelation and this promise goes from Genesis to the last book of the Old Testament as a promise of a Messiah to come then from Matthew to Revelation Jesus came and then it was a promise of eternal life if we would accept so we as today we, we as people today have to then uh, re resign in ourselves to to wait on God to, to, to first and foremost accept the promise the promise has been given we must accept it and then wait on God and do what God would want us to do that's important that's an important thing to understand and to do because God would want you to 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 be fully uh, fully not lacking anything as James says and, and in that waiting process 
in that waiting period of your life. He says, he watched and he prayed. He says, I will stand at my watch. So not only is he waiting, you know, waiting, you know, just sitting there, okay, I'm just sitting here. But he's standing at his watch, meaning not only is he waiting, but he's alert on what's going on around him. So we are to be not only waiting on God, but we are to be alert of what's going on and alert to his coming, alert to his uh alert to his his, um, his uh, coming to us his promise and all those good things okay so understand that God would desire for us to know what it means to wait to be still and know that he's God and in that stillness in that waiting in that watching not to grow tired not to grow weary of waiting but to wait and watch to wait and watch. And, and in this Christmas season, Jesus has already came. He's already been born of a virgin. He's already lived his sinless life. He's already died on the cross and been, been resurrected and ascended to the right hand of God. So now, what is the waiting and watching? We're waiting in the watching for his return. And we're waiting in the watching for the promises in which he's promised us. That which being he's going to return. One of them. One of the promises. But what has God promised you today? What has he promised you uh, in your life in the, in, the, in the very recent past? What has he promised? Have you given up? Have you given up? Have, or have you allowed God to, to, to bless you in your waiting? So that's my challenge. Allow God to bless you in your waiting. And draw close to him this Christmas season as he is drawing close to you. So until next time, it's Pastor Josh. God bless.